organizing in front of the vine house for my apple trees and the foot baths that I don't need anymore. Um, I'm now using as water trays for the apples, all my seeds and cuttings and everything. It's a beautiful sunny day. This is stuff I still have to bring into the vine house for my tomatoes and cucumbers. And then come over here and these are my wild baby trees and spindles and oaks and holly. These are the more mature ones, but what I love is the splash of color up over here. So I pass by my baby tree collection, which I'm going to I have to level that area and they're going to be moved down there and those are going to be moved in there because one day I want to turn this, get this back to the peach house. Anyway, this splash of color is wonderful up here. Look at this. And it smells so good. All those sweet William, the jasmine, those irises have a magnificent perfume. And then the sages and the lemon tree. If you've not smelled lemon blossom, I tell you, that smells heavenly. And then the red roses, my roses from cuttings from my friend's uh, rose bush are doing spectacularly well, amazingly well. So there's that red rose there. And this is the second one. I gave some of my cuttings away to other people and kept two. So that's one from that rose bush. And then there's, this is the second one. This one's doing a lot better for some reason. Not sure what the difference is. Maybe I planted this one out before I planted that one out. It could be something as simple as that. But yeah, it's, uh, it smells heavenly here. It's kind of hot though. <laughs> so back to sorting and planting and look at the glow of color. Let's see if I can zoom in all the way down there in front of the vine house. Look at that, the Russian sages and the, um, the uh, oh, what are they called? Geums, the orange red geums. And there's a foxglove in there. Oh, it's such fun when things come together and create beautiful colors and smells. See, if we walk along here, to get out. I'm soaking some stuff that weren't doing very well. If we come here around this corner, this scented stock at night, it is just amazing. But it's, oh, it's so pleasing that things like this are becoming, are maturing into themselves. And look at these lupins just fantastic. This is all out here because I'm sorting um, the area in front of the vine house. So everything's getting watered in here. And there's those lupins up there. But this is, see if we move forward a little bit out of all the potted plants and you have the night scented stock and then all that and that color. This rose is only just now coming out. This was here since this was planted by my grandfather or my grandmother. And it's only just coming out. Last year it was amazing. This year not so well. I fed it and everything, so I'm not sure why. But it's so beautiful amongst the night scented stock. So there's a little bit of... Uh, my garden today in the sun but this coloring is just I'm loving this coloring so are the bees look there's bees in there buzzing I don't know if you can see there's a buzzy bee anyway that is some of my beautiful garden tour for today. Oh wait, I want to show you another bit before I stop. We go through the potting shed. Yes, big boy. Out the far door. 
And this is my dry garden. Look at that. All the foxgloves and valerian and flaxes and and you come over here, the foxgloves, and look at the purple sage. Mind you, I do have to get rid of that ash tree. I don't want an ash tree growing there. The purple sage is looking fantastic. And this red rose was a cutting from another friend of mine's rose many, many, many moons ago. Look at that big ash tree. I'm gonna have to get rid of that because it will tear down the wall with its root structure. So this is looking really good. All the, I love the valerian. The valerian's fantastic. So there's the foxgloves, valerian, flaxes, and the daisies are going to be coming out soon. There's some of the daisies, the oxide daisies. I've been planting them in here. So, and that garden didn't exist. About, I've been working on that little bit. This like gets no water, none. And so that garden is about, I don't know, I've been throwing seeds there for like seven or eight years now, I think. What survives, survives. What doesn't, doesn't. What thrives, thrives. What doesn't, doesn't. It's one of those kind of, if it works, it works. This is willow herb. That'll be lovely and pink in a little while. You can see it's feeling rather sad, sorry for itself. Oh, and there's fever few. This will be coming up soon as well. So there we go. Another bit of my garden.